little unrequited blood. Yeah, of course you gotta pronounce it as suk. It's got the umlauts. Well, in American American English, it's ass suk. It's ass suk, of course. I mean, they're from fucking Florida. You gotta ask. You think anyone in Florida has intelligence to know how to pronounce an umlaut? So it's an umlaut. What is that? Say that again. An umlaut, mutiny crew. Mutiny crew. There is a band called Umlau, but that was Assock. From Florida, we do get tons of requests for Assock all the time. Uh, we can't keep up with them. No. It's just going crazy. It's so, off the charts. Next time you off from Requited Blood, it's off the Misery and XCD, which also has the blind spot in the state-to-state setting. Yeah, which is on Steve Heritage on guitar, the legend, the man himself. Who's in Dallas Oof now. Steve Heritage? Yeah. No, he's living in Hawaii now with his girlfriend. Oh, was he not in Dallas Oof? No, Dallas he's retired. Suck. Dallas Oof is a the draw rest of you guys are listening. Dudes. It's some of the aspects. Oh, it's definitely or it was. Nerd-age. Anyhow. Anyways, enough of that nerd. And before you. that, that's the only band from Greece I've ever heard of called Rod and Christ. Yeah, where they got gothy and lame. Um, let's talk to Sparky. You want to talk to Sparky? Sparky, speaking Sparky. of the index. Greetings and salutations. You got to talk into the microphone, dude. How do you? are a professional. You should know that. Don't accuse me of such things. It's such a something I have to like, live up to seat, then. Though. Definitely taking the seat, fucker. <laughs> well, the hangover from last night's festivities in Boston has finally subsided, but I'm currently insulting myself further, and my liver is fucking punching me right now, so. Yeah, that's right. I'm yeah. Sparky. I'm in the metal band. I drink a lot. Ooh. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes the stereotypes are there for a reason. Someone had to throw the gauntlet down. I mean... If you work in a bar and you play in a band, you know, chances are, unless you're, for some godforsaken reason, a straight edger, then, uh, you know, and whatever. You have to embrace the booze, which I do with both hands, actually, right now. Cheers. <laughs> Sparky's fisting the booze. Hey, Sparky man, you gotta is. enjoy it. And I did take Blake's seat, and he's not getting it back, so. That's all right, I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette while put the corner. All right, go ahead and try to save face, Blake. Corner. I'm not saving face, I just dissed you. <laughs> And this is my microphone. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by all the Blake's spittle all over it. Oh, dang. So, Blake, I got to ask you, man. Sure. Uh, I was talking to Jacobson the other day, man, about, mm-hmm. about royalty checks and stuff. And right. I was right. asking him about, right. about Pig Destroyer. Uh-huh. And, um, I've heard of it. <laughs> I was just trying to corroborate, you know, some statements right, right, you right. like made to me about the millions of dollars that Pig Destroyer right. breaks uh-huh. in on a quarterly basis. Quarterly, and, uh, yes. He, quarterly. You seem to have no knowledge of that, so I, I'm gonna have to try to get a hold of James. Up well, there as you laps. might well know, is that Matt Jacobs isn't really in charge of the label anymore, and it's Gordon Conrad who you'd have to speak to. Well, I mean, it's just like hey, he got it's just like Dick Cheney's actually in charge of the country and not George Bush, but hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about Coroner before we play it? The coroner definitely saw them play a couple shows in D.C. quite a long time ago. One with Fourth Century from Seattle, the old place called the Safari Club, which is uh, used to be a Fifth and K Street run by oh, yeah. this Ethiopian guy who let underage oh, people drink club. all the time. And definitely saw a coroner at the old 930 Club in circa 1991. It was amazing. You didn't so. see him at the uh, at Network with Voivod? Um, no, I do know the show you're talking about, but I was not yeah. there. This is Coroner. It's off the second LP. It's uh, Absorbed. It's the, first, for decadence. it's the first song. Uh, there's a little intro before that. It's called Absorbed. Let's spin that shit. Here's the-